Now, <clears throat> let us look into the handover or cell switch procedure that is present in LTE or EUTRA networks. As we know, there will be only one particular serving cell per, per UE, which indicates that both the serving cell in the uplink and downlink are same, which also implies that UE cannot receive the uplink AX and NAX from multiple cells. This uh, even during this handover process, this applies the same. Even during the handover, the LTE UE or LTE UE cannot have connection with multiple E node Bs. The handover can be either network based handover or UE based handover. Or we call the network based handover as backward handover or UE based handover can also is triggered when radio link failure happens. So it is also called as radio link failure handover. During this backward handover or network based handover, UE is a traditional handover where the UE performs the measurement reports and it periodically or periodically can keep transmitting for the E node B or the serving cell which we call it as source cell. Then the serving cell takes decision based upon these measurement reports and inform the target cell and make the target cell prepared for the UE handover that is going to come onto that particular cell. Then UE upon receiving then it serving cell gives the handover command to the UE and UE after receiving this handover command it starts attempts the handover to the target cell via PRATCH that we have seen before that is UE uh, I mean the, the communication between this source and target cell happens over the X2 interface that we have seen the other kind of uh, handover is uh, radi I mean radio link failure based handover the name indicates the radio link failure that is since the existing link between the E node B and UE has failed we are doing this particular handover this RF for hitting this RLF there are various scenarios various possibilities if UE if network doesn't respond back for the RATCH, RATCH request then RLF is triggered or if the downlink power in the particular cell is going below certain thresholds then also it can trigger or trigger an RLF. When this RLF is triggered, then UE has some data to be sent to the other side. So it does, uh, it it does has to <coughs> acquire to one particular E node B. Then it does ratch onto the target cell. Then it is the duty of the target cell to perform a context fetch about this particular UE from the target from the source cell previously one which this. Uh, in, uh, UE is camped on. This happens over this X2 interface where this particular network asks for that hey, one of the UE is requesting uh, resources from my network saying it's a handover from your cell. Please give me the complete context of that particular uh, UE. If the network responds back to that particular target cell, then the link exists or let link goes through, or if it doesn't get, then the UE has to start the connection afresh. Thank you.